Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another ASMR mukbang eating show. Today I have some bacon and eggs, another keto breakfast. So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm super excited because tomorrow, my friends, we are having a game night. Mmm. <laughs> I love game night. And I love preparing nice keto meals for my game nights. Mm. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it's raining. And you guys know how much I love rain. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yummy. So yeah, I've been looking for like Pinterest to get ideas, you know, for recipes. And I've been brainstorming and I'm super excited because I have found so many recipes new stuff mm. it's definitely gonna work for me because I found this recipe for how to make taco shells out of cauliflower you guys, that recipe, that just like totally made my morning, my afternoon, my night, my day, my entire year. You guys have no idea how happy I am to have come across that recipe. Because you guys know how much I love tacos. And sometimes I have a hard time with those, you know, cheese shells that Angel taught me how to make. Because my red copper pan is all scratched up. So when I'm going to fry the cheese, it sticks to the pan. So that's no good no more for stuff like that. So I found a recipe on Pinterest that uses, instead of just cheese, it uses cauliflower and cheese. Oh my God. And you bake it instead of frying it. So And then it's much easier to fold, fold it like a tortilla. And fill it in with your, you know, your taco meat and the stuff, you know, the toppings you want to put on it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try that recipe. Mm. You guys have no idea because from all the things that I used to crave before, that I do still crave are tacos. And amazingly enough, I thought that once I started keto, I would really start missing pasta, but I don't really think about pasta that much, you know? Yeah, sometimes I miss it, but it's not like, I don't miss it as much as tacos, like the tortilla. And then I'm still having tacos on keto. I'm just not having the tortilla, obviously, you know, I'm having it either in a lettuce wrap or the cheese shell. But like I said, for me, it's harder to make that cheese shell. I haven't made it anymore because my copper pan is all scratched up. It sucks. So... I'm really got, glad that I found this new recipe. Because I really need my toggles. And even though they're pretty yummy when I make them in the lettuce wrap, they're not the same. It doesn't have the same texture. You can't really you know, sink your teeth into it. 
like something that would be like a harder type shell, you know, something more. How do you call this? That has more mass in it, you know? And you're able to like really sink your teeth in it, not just like lettuce, which is like a very thin sheet. <laughs> So yeah, that recipe totally made my day. But I'm not going to make that for game night because I need to experiment with it first. You know, see how it comes out. Hmm. And then once I get the hang of it, I'll make it more often. But you know, so... I think for game night, I also got a recipe for a keto Mexican casserole. It sounds amazing. I looked through the recipe and I saved the pin. And I'm going to make that for tomorrow night. It's really easy. And I just love stuff that I could just throw together in a casserole and stick it in the oven. Like, I love recipes that are like that. I love it. Mmm. It's so good. So yeah, you guys, stay tuned to my channel because I got lots more yummy recipes coming up. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about David. Yes, David is still doing keto. We, I know we haven't done a mukbang together in a long time, but we are planning to start doing that again. You know, it's just been crazy with everything. Um... David has been extremely busy at work. He gets home tired. And then, you know, it's a little crazier now for us because him and I are doing keto. We got to feed our kids too. And our kids are not eating keto, you know. Sometimes they do eat some stuff that is keto, but not all meals. And we have to cook separately for them. So it's a little crazy. You know, and adjusting to our new lifestyle and everything. But we are definitely going to start doing mukbangs together again. And I'm so excited to try all these new keto recipes. And eat them in our mukbangs together and stuff like that. It's going to be really exciting. So, yeah. Don't worry. Those are coming. <laughs> we are going to continue to do mukbangs together. Eventually, I will show you guys. You guys will be able to see his weight loss. David has lost weight faster than me. Because, like I've mentioned before, the man always loses weight faster than the woman. So, I think I lost track, honestly, of how much he's lost. He was ahead of me by a few pounds the last time he had told me. So, and so far that I'm aware of, I haven't weighed myself in a few weeks, but so far that I'm aware of, I've lost about 35 pounds. So, let's say David has lost about a little bit over 40 pounds. He's, you know... Men always go at a faster rate than women. All done. So yeah, that's totally normal. It's always going to be that way. <laughs> men versus women, when it comes to weight loss, the men always lose as fast, faster than the woman. So yeah, a lot of people have been asking because a lot of people don't have me as a friend on Facebook. So they don't see pictures of me and David often. They only get to see us when I make YouTube videos. But if you guys want to see more, 
send me a friend request on Facebook. I have a link to all my social media in the description box below always. Because, yeah, me and David haven't been making videos together in a while. so And we are going to start doing that soon. But, you know, in the meanwhile, you guys want to keep up with us and stuff like that. You just follow me, like, on Facebook and stuff like that. But, yeah, David is doing really good. He has not cheated once, just like me. I have not cheated once since I started the keto diet on September 1st. And it's amazing. We didn't cheat on Halloween. We are not planning to cheat on Thanksgiving or Christmas. So, we are going to have our turkey, of course, but... Our sides are going to be all keto. We're going to have a keto meal. And I am cooking regular food for everybody else. Because every year I have a Thanksgiving feast. And it's like. I have a lot of people over my house. My family. My friends. Not everyone is on keto. So I can't cook the entire meal keto. So I do have to make sides for everyone else. You know. All that good stuff. We're going to be surrounded by mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese. Pumpkin pie. But we're not going to give in. If we were able to get through it on Halloween, surrounded by all that yumminess and all that temptation of candy. I haven't had Halloween candy this year. Not once. I, Oh my God. I can't believe it. I don't know how I did it. I honestly don't know how I did it. Because Halloween candy is one of my weaknesses. I love chocolate. And when I say candy, I mean chocolate. I don't eat like candy candy like, you know, Starburst Skittles. I like it, but it's not like, for me, Halloween candy is chocolate. Oh my God, you guys. I didn't have not one piece. I swear to God. I did so good, I amazed myself. I was surrounded by, our Halloween party consisted of pizza, cupcakes, Halloween candy, chicken and pasta salad, my mom's, which is my favorite because my mom makes it so good. We have bocaditos, which is these, bocaditos is uh, little small sandwiches. They're, they're Cuban appetizers, and we call them bocaditos. You guys, there was meatballs that my cousin brought. There was so much yummy food, and there was a lot left over, you guys. We didn't cheat not once. I, I gave the food away to people. We gave to some people to take home. The next day, my mom was like, was there a lot of salad left? I was like, yes, mom. There was a lot of pasta salad left. So please take it because this is a temptation for us, you know. And we know we're not going to give in to the temptation. So the fact that it's just going to spoil in the fridge is kind of sad. Because like I said, there was a lot of food left over. Um, so, ugh, you guys, we got through Halloween. We could get through Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know that for a fact. But yeah, like I said, we're planning to stick to keto. We are not planning any cheat date anytime soon. We are very dedicated. <laughs> and we are just very focused right now. And we're not thinking about cheating. Thinking about cheating during keto, especially if you just started like a few weeks or a few months ago, is the wrong mindset to have. And it's a sure way to fail at any diet. That shouldn't be your main focus. Oh, when do I get to cheat? That is the wrong focus. If you focus on that, you're going to fail. You're not going to succeed. You're not going to reach your goal because eventually you're going to be so preoccupied, always thinking about, oh, when do I get to cheat? When do I get to cheat? Mm -mm, stay focused. I don't plan to cheat at least until I've been in keto for like a year, until I've lost a significant amount of weight, at least 100 pounds. I am not planning to have my first cheat date. That's how Angel did it. That's how I'm planning to do it. I am doing everything she did to the T. She, she has instructed me so well in this diet. She has helped me so much. And that's why it's working for me. Because I, I, am <laughs> I, I never used to at, in school. But I guess now I'm, I've become good at listening to instructions. <laughs> which I amaze myself because I must I must really be paying attention. I must want this really bad because that was always my teacher's battle with me in school. They would always tell my mom, Monica's a very smart girl, but she has trouble concentrating and following instructions. That was always me. Well, now with keto, I'm very dedicated. I'm very focused. I follow everything to the T that Angel tells me, and I have not swayed from it. 
not once. And I think that's why I'm losing weight so fast and I'm succeeding because I am doing it correctly and I'm not focused on cheating. I am not focused on the wrong things. I'm not focused on, oh, when do I get to have a cheat date? Mm -mm -mm. That is very far from now and I am not worried or concerned about that. Food is not going to go anywhere. Like I said, I no longer, food no longer controls my life. I control it. So therefore, I am not concerned about all the yummy stuff I used to eat before. When do I get to eat it again? Mm -mm. Food is not going to go anywhere. Food is always going to be there. Okay, it's about me making the right choices and staying focused because I want to reach my goal and I want to reach it fast. I don't want to be stuck, you know, and gaining two and losing three, you know, and gaining back one. Why? Because I don't have self-control and I want to give myself cheat dates from time to time. No, I can't do that. I can't afford to, to do that to myself. No way, no how. Not at all. Not at all. Not even the holidays are going to throw me off keto. No way. Mm -mm. It's not about food anymore, you guys. It's not about food. And I feel so great. I feel so good about myself. It's amazing. It truly is a life-changing experience. It's not a diet anymore. It's a lifestyle change. This is my lifestyle. Get used to it. <laughs> I'm used to it already, you know? This is what I tell myself. Get used to it, mon. I'm not going to tell you it's hard. Sometimes, every time I see a goddamn Taco Bell commercial on TV, I'm like, oh my God, why? Or Pizza Hut or Burger King or whatever, you know? I'm like, oh. But I'm like, get a hold of yourself. Deal with it. <laughs> I tell myself, deal with it. This is your lifestyle now. And you feel good. And you're healthy, you know? It's, it's just amazing. It's amazing and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't go back to my old eating habits if somebody came up to me and told me, here, I pay you a million dollars if you just go back to eating the way you used to eat. Mm -mm. Take the million dollars. As bad as I need money right now, I will not take it. Never will I go back, ever. This is for life. <laughs> All right, guys, I rambled too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. And don't forget to click on the description box below because I have a link there to all my social media. You guys want to see pictures of David. He's also lost a lot of weight. So, you know, we're both feeling and looking amazing. And I'm so glad that I have you guys' love and support. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.